Cooking with secondary cut of beef is my favorite. And today I decided to use the chuck. It's full of fat, it's beautiful, and the best recipe to do with this is the bœuf bourguignon. The first thing to do, which is the most important part of the recipe, is to marinate the meat overnight in red wine and few vegetables. Onion, carrot, celery, and I've got half a garlic there, which is perfect. Roughly chop an onion, carrots, a stick of celery. To this I'm adding some thyme and a few bay leaves as well. All right. Okay, this is my chuck. Lots of fat, which is basically where you get the flavor in the animal. So what I need to do is cut this in big chunk of meat, like about four centimeters by four. There we go. And the main ingredient, obviously, the red wine. So I've got Shiraz here, something with a lot of tannin. Here we go. Now I'm gonna put this in the fridge overnight. And I know it sounds like a long time, but you know, all that wine, all those vegetables are gonna be macerating together to get the most flavor out of this beautiful stew. All right, this one has been marinated overnight. And look at this beautiful color. Deep purple. This beef has been soaking all those flavor, all this wine, all the acidity has cured it a bit. And all I need to do is fish all the pieces out. Maybe it's a beautiful way to die. When you're old, you just get into a swimming pool of wine and then you get stewed and yum. Okay, put this aside. Keep the wine. The wine is the sauce. Be generous with the salt and pepper as well. You've got a lot of meat here. And pepper and salt. Olive oil in a pot. It needs to be nice and hot, really, really hot. Just a little slab of butter. See the smoke here, that's what you want. And then piece by piece, See that caramelization here? That's exactly what we want. So turn it over on the other side. All right, pour this batch out of the pot, keeping all those beautiful juices back on. A bit more olive oil. Okay, well, that's nice and hot now. I want to caramelize my onions and my carrots first. But then leave them alone until they caramelize on one side and shake them again. There we go. Beautiful caramelization of the onion. And you need to get the caramelization so you get the sweetness out of those vegetables. When you've got that, then you need to add the smokiness of this beautiful spike bacon. We're gonna cook this spike for about three, four minutes to get a beautiful caramelization. Then it's time to cook the meat with it. Smelling gorgeous. It's time to add the beef in. Mmm. Okay, what I need to add now is a bit of flour just to thicken the sauce that it cooks together about two tablespoons worth. And then just give it a good mix. Make sure that everything is coated with a little bit of flour. And as I said, that's gonna help the sauce to thicken. And the sauce, of course, is the one we marinated the beef with. Put a little of it. So all you need to do now is bring it to the boil, reduce it to simmer, and cook it for an hour and a half to two hours. 
Beautiful. It's smelling so good. Makes me hungry. Let's see if it's cooked. The sweetness of the onions, of the carrots, and the smokiness of the bacon makes a perfect recipe. Oh, if you can pull the meat out like this, nice and tender, melting in the mouth, that's exactly what you want. Smelling good in here, starving. I cooked a little bit of pasta. And all you have to do is pour a little bit of that meat, carrots, onions, bacon, and of course, my favorite, the sauce. Rich, beautiful, tasty, colorful, and just yummy.